you like that silver. Talk to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I have one regret that. Oh, ah, ah! Dead. Stop your scampering, you team. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, nibbles. Wake up. What? What's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror sworn Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... Uh, oh. I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go, then. Enough. I'll soon st uh. Wake up. Uh, I don't I don't want to go to school. Know much about this isle. Almost nothing. You know it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of.
you feel a wee bit drowsy, well... Wake up. I don't, I don't want to go to school. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. Here? Mm-hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Brought you your friend. I sure! Let's hear him then! Wake up. Uh, I'm awake! <laughs> Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled! Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit! Raverick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping, and, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. Step aside. She's cold. Spirits left her. Nothing we could do. Let's wait by the boat. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. 
What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. Wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridin's hands. What's Eridin after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridin's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared. Out of nowhere, he found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridan couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance, using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell headfirst and forward. <laughs> 